Hey guys, this is going to be just a quick video. I want to show you one of the ways of adding a touch sensitive button or a switch to your electronic projects. The circuit is based on a small chip, the PCF8883, which costs about $1.50 online. You will also need a metal coin, something like a penny, and you'll see why in a bit. The chip works by detecting small changes in capacitance. This is the ability of objects to store electrical charge. Here we have the penny connected to the chip with a wire. When I touch the coin, my body changes its capacitance. The chip detects this and responds by turning on the LED. Now let's look at the schematic. The PCF8883 has 8 pins. Pin 5 is your power supply. Pin 4 is connected to ground. Pin 1 is your touch-sensitive input. I simply have a piece of wire that is stuck to the penny with a piece of tape. Pin 2 is important, it defines whether the chip acts as a button or as a switch. Let's connect it to ground for now. Pin 6 is your output. Since the chip cannot provide a lot of power, I have it hooked up to the base of a transistor, and that turns the LED on or off. And really that's all you need for the basic operation of this chip. Now when I touch the penny, the chip sends a signal to the transistor and that turns the LED on. The chip also detects when I lift my finger and the LED is turned off. By the way, this particular chip comes only in SMD package, which is not suitable for use on a breadboard by itself. But there is a way you can use SMD chips on a breadboard. I have it explained in another video, so feel free to go and check it out. Now let's go back to the circuit and change one thing. Let's connect pin 2 to pin 8 instead of ground. We just changed the mode of the chip. Instead of a button, it now acts as a switch. Touching the penny once turns the LED on, and touching it again turns the LED off. Now let's go back to the schematic one more time. It is important to note that the capacitor at pin 3 affects the sensitivity of the chip. Right now my finger is detected, even if I have my gloves on. If I need to, I can decrease the sensitivity of the circuit by replacing the capacitor with a much smaller one. As you can see, right now only my bare fingers are detected. And to increase the sensitivity, you can use a bigger capacitor. Or if it's possible, you can use a bigger metal plate. I replaced the penny with a piece of metal foil, and as you can see, the chip can detect my hand from a distance. Ok, now you know how to add a touch-sensitive button or a switch to your circuit. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.